information and, and the talk that I gave this evening was on the some of the molecular techniques that we've developed at Mount Sinai uh, School of Medicine to be able to detect uh, ovary cancer after it's been treated with uh, chemotherapy. And so what we did was go back into our biobank, which is approximately 10 years old, where we have preserved specimens, we have DNA from primary tumors, recurrent tumors, and we also have evidence of, we have cytologic washings that we've taken on patients uh, at the time of laparoscopy. And what we did was ask ourselves the question is, the, what is the genetic makeup of the primary tumor, the recurrent tumor, and could we actually predict uh, and find the same mutations that are in the primary tumor, could we find those in the washings that were taken at second look? And using a 56 gene panel with next generation uh, sequencing with a coverage of about 6,500, uh, uh, indeed we found in, in five patients that we did this on uh, that had positive second looks, we found mutations in all of those washes with, and in three out of the five patients that were classed as negative second looks, we actually found that those patients still carried deleterious P53 mutations and indeed those patients went on to recur. And um, what we also found, and that finding those mutations both in the primary, the wash, and in the second look, um, it actually confirms that there's a heterogeneity to ovary cancer and you can actually find that there are certain genes in the primary tumor that you don't see in the wash and you don't see in the recurrence that the selective pressure applied by the use of chemotherapy actually probably kills those clones um, and it really again supports the, the theory of tumor heterogeneity uh, which is um, uh, very common in high grade, all of high grade serous tumors and probably the reason why why uh, most pa patients with high-grade serous tumors of the ovary uh, will ultimately relapse.